analysis. Anybody else? Yes. What if you were blind from birth? You would see very clearly. The blindness is of the physical eyes and not of the astral eyes. Not at all because, no, because this looks like this is the real thing and we are remembering from here and seeing those things. The truth is the astral sight is there, therefore we can see and if we are blind, we are not using that astral sight. Not only that, blind people have been able to see even when they were blind after first having seen with the astral eyes. And that's an amazing thing. Of course, we think that blind people, born blind, are totally unable to see because they were born blind. On the other hand, they use the same terminology, I can see. Now, when we hear them say, I can see you, we think they are saying because they can touch your face with their hands and it's the tactile perception that they are converting into sight. It's not exactly that. They have their own vision and they see. They see slightly differently than we see with the physical eyes because the astral eyes see more than the physical eyes can see. And so when blind people see and describe something, they can describe very clearly some of the scenes. Uh, I read a very interesting story of two patients, terminally ill patients, who were in a hospital. And one had a bed next to the window and the other had a bed next to him. There were two beds in that hospital room. And the man, they were both terminally ill. But they talked to each other occasionally. And the man next to the window would describe to the next person, look, today a parade is going on outside. And I can see it, it's beautiful. People are carrying flags, they're marching. And the man next couldn't see but he enjoyed the stories which the man next to the window was telling him. Eventually, every day he would entertain him that new scenes are now going on outside the window. Some, he is seeing new parades going on, new people walking there. Very clear descriptions he would give of what is happening outside. Then that person near the window passed away, he died. And this man said, can I shift to the, to the bed on the window so I can see now? And he shifted to the window and he found there was just a wall outside. There was nothing outside. He said, how come that man used to describe everything to me? They said, didn't you know he was totally blind from birth? That's an interesting story which tells us something. He was describing things so clearly. He was blind from birth. And the nurse said, didn't you know that? He was totally blind from birth. So the seeing that we talk about is taking place because these sense perceptions, all of them, are occurring at the level of the astral body. The astral body is responsible for sense perceptions. These different bodies which we say, the physical body, the astral body, the causal body, they are all performing certain functions. The physical body performs the important function of cre creating material physical reality for us and making that as the only reality. It's a great function that this body can do. The astral body provides all the sense perceptions and embeds them into the physical body so that we think because we have eyes we can see and that if we see through imagination, it's only what we have seen before. But as you will hear from all the people who had experiences, these are just examples. They have seen things which they never seen before. They have seen the colors of flowers change they never seen in physical life. They just had a smell which he never had in his life. They had today for the first time. So the power of perception through senses of the astral body far exceeds that which is permitted by the embed, embedding of those very sense perceptions in the physical body. It's an experiment worth doing that when you really vacate your body, physical body of its attention, and move into the astral body, you'll find your sense perceptions much stronger than you ever had before. You look at the sky, you look at the very things around you here in the physical world, and the sky is more blue and beautiful than you've ever seen before. That everything is shining with the radiance you've never seen in the physical world. And you can see the same physical things in a different way. 
you can also have a deeper vision you can see through the walls you can see through people you can see transparent people and they become transparent as you look at them they become solid as you think of them you look beyond them you they become transparent you look at them they become solid this is only possible with the astral eyes this is not possible with physical eyes there are so many experiences like that which you will encounter yourself meditation is a great adventure in order to know who we really are what faculties we have which are hidden inside us we never use them because we think that the physical world of reality is the only world the only reality and we are trapped into this reality and unable to have the experiences that are available right inside our own body right inside our own head right inside our own consciousness so this meditational experience opens up experiences which are unimaginable they go beyond way beyond our imagination and yet they are our experiences not somebody else's the 